Welcome to School Report, a glimpse into the classrooms of St. Lucie County Public Schools. School Report provides the opportunity to share with the community academic and extracurricular activities of students in our schools. And now, here is School Report. Um, as we know, past couple of days, our learning goal has been that students will be able to identify zeros of polynomials when suitable factorizations are available and use the zeros to construct a rough graph of the function defined by the polynomial. So the way that the centers are set up is that this first station is simplifying monomials. Monomials are the foundational block of a polynomial. Then we go to the next table over there, which they're going to do multiplying using the area model to figure out their answer. Over here, we're going to add and subtract polynomials. I need everybody's attention, Tristan. What? Thank you. Um, we're going to add and subtract polynomials at this table. And then when we, all three of these operations leads us to this table right here, where we put it all together identifying our zeros and rough, drawing a rough sketch of what the graph should look like. And then finally, in the last station, this is where we do what we call hypothesizing, where we're going to take the numbers that are, that are attached to each one of those graphs, and we're going to change numbers to see how the graph moves. OK? Is everybody clear on how we're doing this so far? Yes. All right. What I want you guys to do is that I'm going to start the timer. Each station is 10 minutes. So when you hear the timer, you're going to follow the sheet because the recorder has the sheet in front of them. The timekeeper, whoever you select to be a timekeeper, should be the person who's not the facilitator or the recorder. They're going to keep track of the time. OK? Make sure you identify in your groups who the timekeepers are going to be. Any questions? No. All right, go ahead and start. Over here. Oh, is it decimal? Just put, no, no, finish. What you do, just play with the numbers and see what happens to that. Okay. The good result is if you can get all the marbles taken off, but if you don't, you're okay. X plus 2, X plus 4, X plus 6. Okay? So you're going to, these, and, and up here, remember, these are your zeros. So that's going to be the opposite. <coughs> that would be negative 2, negative 4, negative 6. Yeah, that's what I got to. And then five was 90x. 90x. 
Okay. So now I have to figure out how to draw your zero. Six was negative five hundred. That's the twelfth power, and then y to the thirteen. Seven was forty x yeah. to the twelfth, and then y to the eighteen. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Good job. So what she did? Eight was ten x to the twenty third power, and then y to the nineteen third. Wait, what? Um, also remember that we follow our chance expectation, which means that at your table, which you guys have been perfect with, we do a voice level one. That means we're whispering to one another about how we solve the problems. Number two, we're working in cooperative groupings. That's why we're working collaboratively in threes. And then you can talk quietly and respectfully with other people in your group and listen when each other talks. And I've been walking around the classroom. I've been very impressed with the way you guys are really collaborating and working together. So let's just keep it moving. You guys know what to do? Yes. No, let's stop. No, let's, let's forget about that. Okay. We're doing this. Make sure each one of them get the get, get a sheet of paper each one. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. <laughs> but you don't have much time, so you guys got to hurry up. Roll in the basket, though. Get the basket, though. Y squared plus Yeah, we're going to write negative 4, negative 3, and that's a positive 6, so it's going to be f of x equals negative so x plus negative 3, I mean x so minus 3, three. x minus 4, mm -hmm. and x plus 6. The rest are negative. Should we be the time people? When it gets to four minutes, that's when we take all our work and start putting it on the sheet. You gonna put that on the sheet? Cause that's what you're, you're actually turning in. I'm, I'm actually gonna grade this. Okay. Getting close to the time where we have to take these three tables have to take the information put on that one worksheet. Okay. will use their knowledge of parabolas to manipulate various properties of a para parabola by resizing, repositioning, and <laughs> restricting their domain.
I want to log out. I'll log back in. And I'll not put the key in there. What were we doing different? Oh, okay. Each person work on part A and B individually. This is A and B up here. So you work in here, you work in here, you work in here. When you finish, then we graph. I have to tell you about that. How much what? <laughs> I ain't got as much money as you, man. Go from the negative six and you go over like you're going up towards positive. And then you come back down like you're going down towards negative. And then when you get ready to come back up to negative one, you go back up. But you also got to remember that it hits 30. So when you do it, this is five, this is 10, 15. 20, 25, 30. Well, it's positive 30, so I mean the line got to keep on going up. So it can go up to positive 30. But this is just a rough draft, so it has to hit your constant number. You only add the um, 2 and plus 6 twice. Yeah. Do this one. That's the side of the house.